that fits for fit for the camera. And when? Uh, I'm gonna be brewing coffee from uh, Kenya, so it's a uh, yeah really cool coffee. It almost tastes like something else, but yeah, we bought it at an auction in February, so really good Kenyan coffee. And what happens now? I put the two parts together, and almost instantly it starts to rise by the vapor. So once you get all of it up and it's stabilized, you can start brewing. The person is going to get some more coffee. My, my grandfather had a very similar equipment at home. Oh, yeah? My childhood, yeah. yeah. Cool. They're, uh, I mean, they are. They are exotic, but many people have had like experiences, like seen one before. Or in Sweden, there was one called I think it was called Dom Pedro. So it's like the yeah. the uh, the famous one that was brought into many homes. But I think it was pretty fragile, like in the bottom. So a lot of people have them like half at home. Because that other half is broken. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really good too. Only we don't stop for it. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. Hey, you're chasing it. Nice. Here we go. And uh, we... Yeah. Now you can really start brewing. So, in with all the coffee and try to get it saturated as fast as possible. With the water. And... Then you're basically free to brew for a sword or as long as you like. As long as you have uh, the fire going in the bottom, it's gonna keep creating steam, and hence gonna keep the water off in the in the in the brewing chamber. And then, after a while, I will turn off the burner, and then what started out as like an overpressure will turn into one under uh, pressure instead, and and yeah, basically like vacuum it down through a filter. So. Oh uh, yeah, right in between. Uh, filter made of paper, so you get a uh, really clean, a uh, really clean room, which is really nice, I think. And yeah, really, uh, really. You should wait all the water in this period. No, uh, no, the water. Uh, it, it, it actually will always stay some water in the bottom right. because of. Uh, I, I mean, it's just the laws of physics, I guess. It's <laughs> It's gonna stay. Um, it needs to have like um, fuel. Uh, if there's no water, there's no steam, and then this one will boil dry and like break, and no more steam will like force force the water up. So I think okay, that's like the uh, next station. But now I turn this off, and I will actually speed in this up by using something cold. Usually you can just use the, the like the air around, but now it's pretty warm and humid, so it's not going to be much of a effect. So I take help with the uh, with this one too to get the brew that I that I want. But uh, yeah, they're often called a vacuum brewer also because of this like effect. As open as you get it with, with the coffee. So it's a pretty popular method of brewing in Japan, for example. These ones are from Japan. Where they have, uh, they can have a whole coffee bar that is just serving this kind of coffee. So they have maybe five or ten in a line, and someone like doing all of this at the same time. I'm not that simultaneous yet, so I, I will be focusing on this one. Before. Moving on to the next. And this is how many servings? Two, 
Uh, no, it's around four cups. Four. Four like, cups, uh, yeah. yeah. So. It's probably enough. 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 Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll bring more if you want, but I thought to start out with. Um, yeah, and that's also, it's called a five cup brewer in Japanese terms. Or whatever. And then you could say, like, flour. For the US, it would be like a two cup brewer. Yeah. And one, is one cup for <laughs> Sweden, maybe three. It's like cultural. And then now, as the last the water goes away, you get to see this almost like a dough made out of coffee. So it's really made after how you have uh, how you have stirred it. Uh -huh. So if you stir it really hard, it's going to be like more. What do you say? Yeah, steep. Steep. More steep. Right. And. It will tell your future, your fortunes, uh, what the weather is going to be Perfect. in uh, two minutes. Um, not much longer, but... <laughs> My world friends in the in the and they make uh, Turkish coffee. Uh -huh. And they turn the Now you have a pretty or a really warm brew since the, uh -huh. the glass is warm all the time. It's not going to cool down mm -hmm. until you pour it into a cup or a saucer. So we just recommend, like, yeah, giving it a, a few minutes just to cool off so you don't burn and so you get all the flavors. Can serve right out of the, the brewer, which is really nice. It's like the tea, sir. Yeah, yeah. 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 right? Uh, so if, if they can produce the espresso this time, this is okay. Taste it first and then come back. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> I told so you we were so skeptical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, do uh, yeah, do that. You should. And uh, it's really, yeah, it's really a different kind of. Even though it looks like a classic filter, a cup of coffee is gonna be. It's gonna be tasting differently because of the brew, and yeah, it's more more of an open. The whole. Uh, what's going on inside the, the brewing chamber, so it's going to be like from. Thank you very much. I'll put it I'm working, yeah. Yeah, yeah you have to. <laughs> someone's going to put it. I did that now. How do you like it? How do you like it? Let it happen. You know? You have been impressed with that. Na, pastoltam már valaki? Igen, nagyon különös. It's got a lot of aromas, and even though it's not as thick, it's, you yeah. can really taste, I think so. Cool. Sure. You're going to notice that even more, I think, when it's uh, cooling down. Mm -hmm. So I will follow my grandfather's footsteps and uh, try, yeah, yeah. try it. <laughs> <laughs> your, your grand-grandfather, Gabriel. with the <laughs>